So with this first fragrance, you got to make sure that you get the right one. Seriously, there's like five fragrances from this house that look the same, but are very different fragrances. What fragrance am I talking about? Givenchy Gentleman EDP. Not to confuse you, but notice how all of these bottles say Givenchy Gentleman. Yeah, you want the one that says EDP on the bottom, not because the other ones are bad. They're going to just be fresher. They're going to be different. This is going to be darker, richer. A warm, powdery, amber fragrance with a touch of vanilla. That's what makes this sexy and it's completely missing in the EDT. Now, if you can't find Givenchy Gentleman EDP, check out Dior Homme Intense. A bit pricier and very similar to that last fragrance. This one actually came out first in 2000. 2011 and is the gold standard, I think, for one of the cleaner, sexy fragrances on the market. In any case, either one of these is going to have you smelling amazing, getting compliments, and smelling sexy. Now, gents, what does it even mean for a fragrance to be sexy? How can the way you smell send off signals of sex appeal? Well, unfortunately, like most things in life, it's complicated. As much as we would like for there to be sex in a bottle, there hasn't been a single molecule that people have been able to identify that makes one person attractive to another. That being said, it is one of many factors. What that means is that smelling great isn't going to guarantee you're going to get lucky, but it also means that it can enhance your chances, especially if you're doing well in other areas. So, with that being said, the next pick on this list is going to be a deep, rich, amber-based fragrance that's actually been out for over a decade, and that is Dolce & Gabbana's the one for men. Now, this is a warm, spicy, tobacco, amber fragrance. It's got a bit of an aromatic touch to it and is a classic fragrance that I highly recommend every man have in his closet. Now, some of you guys have complained about longevity. So, if that's the case, just grab the EDP. It's the same thing, except just a bit stronger, a bit deeper, and it does last longer. You're also going to see the new one that just came out. I believe that is Intensely. This one is solid. It is a different fragrance though. So, make sure to smell the original. This one a bit sweeter. Now, the next fragrance on our list is going to be another usual suspect. And there's a reason that these fragrances keep popping up because they work. The fragrance I'm talking about, 2012's Versace Eros. Now, recently Versace came out with the EDP, which is a more refined version, maybe for a guy in his 30s or 40s, but the original EDT is still where it's at, perfect for the guy in his 20s going out. If you want to change it up, check out Versace Eros Flame. That being said, going out there and buying full on bottles of these fragrances is expensive and may not be the safest bet, especially if you haven't worn a fragrance a few times. You may find that you buy something and you don't like it. And that's why, gents, I'm bringing you today's sponsor, Scentbird, because they make an easy easy for you to date a fragrance before you commit. Gents, I've been talking about Scentbird for years because I love what these guys do. They make it easy for you to try a fragrance before you commit to a full bottle. That Versace Eros and the Eros Flame, they've got those in stock. You can try both of them for a full month. The size of the samples here, we're talking enough for over 120 sprays. That's enough for a solid month. And with over 600 brands, you have tons of options over on Scentbird. In fact, if you're looking for something different and you like vetiver, check out Vetiver in Oak by Scent of Wood. Or if you want something deep and masculine, check out Woody Blends by Sue Phillips over at Artisan Scents. And a fragrance that nobody else is going to be wearing, Raw Spirits by Citadel. Now, what about designer brands that are household names? Scentbird has them. Prada. Gucci, Versace. In addition, Semper can also help recommend the right fragrances for you. They've got a quiz that you take, answer some questions, and all of a sudden, they're giving you suggestions, fragrances that they think you're going to like. Now, every month, you get to choose which fragrance you want to receive, and it's a flexible subscription. But again, what I love is the discovery. You get to try fragrances that you wouldn't normally try, and you get to say, you know what? I like that, or I'm glad I didn't buy a bottle, and you can move on to the next one. And if you're like me, if you really like fragrances, you want to try more than just one a month, you can actually upgrade to two to three samples coming in every single month. These are going to be the real deal. There is an issue out there with, you know, fake counterfeit fragrances. You are guaranteed to get the real thing. Another thing, personally, I love how they send you these cards with a breakout of the notes and the description of the fragrance. Really makes it easy to understand what you're smelling. A 30-day supply, top designer brands delivered right to your door. Guys, Scentbird is a no-brainer if you're getting into the fragrance game. If you want to reduce the risk, don't buy a full bottle before you date. Guys, use that discount code down in the description of today's video. That link is going to make sure you get the best deal on the web. Now, for this next pick, I'm going to go with Luna Rosa Black. This one a little bit more under the radar, doesn't get near the attention of those last ones I was talking about, yet it is still a solid 
pick. Now you're going to notice in the Luna Rosa line, there are a lot of options. Ocean really didn't do too much for me. Carbon is a great fragrance. The other ones, you know, when it comes to fresh, clean, non-offensive fragrances, Prada is where it's at. Any fragrance in this is a great pick, but for something that's sexier, darker, black is aptly described. And in my opinion, this one with the amber, this one right here is a beautiful, dark, rich fragrance, highly recommended. Now, this next pick is a very common fragrance from the house of Dior. You can probably guess what it is, but which one are you going to go with? Because there are tons of options out there. And if you've been following the latest releases, you know that Elixir, everyone is talking. And this one is a great pick. I probably easily could have put that on the list. But the one I'm going to talk about is the EDP. I think that the EDP, when it comes to Sauvage, is a solid, just great pick. And it's not as common as the EDT. The EDT, another great pick as well. The reality is 80% of men, at least in the United States, do not wear fragrance on a regular basis. And those that do, well, yes, there are some that wear Sauvage, a good number of them. But still, this thing gets compliments. And the EDP, I do like a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. It doesn't really last any longer, but it is something I feel is a bit more mature and I like this one better. That being said, if you were to go with the EDT, if you were to go with the Parfum, uh, which I feel it didn't really add much to it and is a little bit overpriced, but still is a great fragrance or even the cool spray during the summer, any of these are going to get compliments. They are popular for a reason. I think they're great fragrances, even though yes, they are overplayed. And I don't see that as a bad thing when people say a fragrance is overplayed that everyone's wearing it because the reality is not everyone is wearing it. In fact, again, only a small percentage of men wear fragrances at all. And those that are, yes, maybe they're gravitating towards, you know, Yves Saint Laurent's Y line. But there are so many options here. I'm going to go with the EDP. This is one of my favorites in the line. I think it's the darkest, the richest. The one that just came out, the Le Parfum, this one is decent. I do feel you get less for more of a cost. So that's why I'm going to go with the EDP. And I don't feel it's that much better. Again, these are going to be very much crowd pleasing fragrances. Apple is one of the top notes. It really sets these apart, but they're just fresh, clean, fun fragrances. You are going to get compliments. The women in your life are going to love these. So I do think that they're sexy fragrances. I mean, men love these too. So uh, don't shy away just because you see them out there on the shelves. That being said, if you want something really niche that is sexy, I've got five quick options for you right here. So Black Phantom by Killian. This one is going to be more of a gourmand, the chocolate. This is just a beautiful, deep, rich fragrance. It's not for everybody. And that's the thing with some of these, I think, sexy, but you're going to find these are deeper, richer fragrances. And again, for some guys, especially during the summer, they can be overwhelming. It's probably not going to be the first fragrance that you're going to grab. Jet Black by Michael Malul. This one actually was done by a friend of mine over at Jet Sense Ash. You guys probably know him. This one is just beautiful. It was his collaboration. I think is actually the best in that entire collection. Exalt New Wheat. This one, uh, Buck, you know, he put this out over at Navitus Parfums. Again, and a beautiful fragrance right there. Herod by Parfums de Marly. I talk about Carlyle a lot, but this one, most people's top five when it comes to Parfum de Marly picks, and for good reason. It is just smoky, rich, absolutely beautiful. And then Instant Crush by Mansara. This one right here, Baccarat Rouge 540, if you're familiar with Ariana Cloud. Sweet, rich, just maybe a little bit too sweet for a lot of guys, but if you like sweet fragrances, this is one to check out. Now, what about the House of Armani? So, when it comes to summer fragrances, Aqua Di Gio is where it's at especially the Profundo, the Profumo. Those are just solid picks, but we're talking sexy fragrances here. So you want something deeper, richer. The Armani code is really underutilized. And the new one that just came out, this uh, Eau de Parfum is absolutely beautiful. If you want the Absolute, you want something sweet, that one is a solid pick as well. But if I had to go with one particular set of fragrances in the Armani house when it comes to sexy, and this is technically Emporio Armani, Armani which is different for the younger crowd, but it would be strong. Stronger with you. Stronger with you, an amazing fragrance. And stronger with you intensely is the same thing as stronger with you, just more stronger. It was exactly what we expected, right? A little bit harder to find, and you're going to pay more per spray. That being said, you know, either one is going to suffice. Now, if you're out there shopping and you see absolutely or stronger with you, just the regular stuff, I would go with the regular, the classic. I don't think it's worth paying extra for this one. Yes, it's got a little bit more of a nuttier note, but this one just, yeah, when it comes to sex appeal, this is where it's at. So, a couple more picks from pretty popular houses out there. And again, I'm going to be going with newer fragrances because I really do like the idea that you guys can find something that just came out and at the same time is going to be sexy and attractive. So, 1 million Privé, I've talked about before, 
amazing. One million, it's just a sweet, great fragrance from Paco Rabanne, but it's going to be the Parfum that I really enjoy. This one is going to be lighter. It's not as sweet as actually the original, and that's why I think for a lot of guys, it's going to be a great entry point into the one million line. In addition, let's talk about Jean-Paul Gaultier's The New La Parfum. This one just came out, and I think it's actually great. A lot of people say it reminds them of the original, except better, but I think that this flanker really nailed it sophisticated, sexy. Again, it's very sweet, but if you're familiar with Jean-Paul Gaultier, it is one of the better flankers that has come out in a long time. Now, what about the Coach line? So, there are three fragrances I own in this line that I'm familiar with, and I'm going to say the blue and platinum, they're okay. They're just, yeah, go with the original though. If you want something sexy, sweet, incredibly versatile, this is the fragrance that honestly is a no-brainer and look around, you can find it for some great deals. And with Carolina Herrera, another house that is underrated and really produces some solid fragrances. My favorite is going to be Privé, but I'm going to throw in Bad Boy. You're going to see this one out there. A lot of people pan it because of longevity issues. I think that this is a really nice gourmand. If you want something chocolatey, you want something that's just different from a lot of the other stuff, chocolatey with cocoa bean, this thing, I, I think it's a great fragrance. Which yes, women do like chocolate. It is something when you're worn on the right man, it can be incredibly sexy and cinnamon and spice and everything nice. Spice bombs, infrared. Spice bomb in general, the original and the extreme, great fragrances. Night vision, not so much. I don't like either of the night visions. But infrared, this one is a keeper. And again, it's a recent fragrance, so you should be able to get samples, should be able to see it out there on the shelves. All right, gents, so what did I miss? What should have been on the list? Let me know in the comments below. And what video to watch next? My top picks for the winter. The fragrances that are going to last through the colder months, the fragrances that you want to be wearing when the temperature drops, if you want to come off as sexy, attractive. Yeah, these are the fragrances. Find out what they are, guys, by clicking on this video, boom, right here.